Christy and welcome or welcome back to Kicking It With Christy. As you can see, we're in my bathroom. <laughs> Not the normal filming area. But uh, this is going to be a I don't know how many part series, we had to see how this goes, of me actually trying to remove what's left. Minus, this is just sweat and blah. But removing what's left of the henna. Oh, there's areas where it's already like, bye, see you later. But there's times where I'm in the store and that just looks gray and it's weird and I'm not down with it anymore. It's been three months, I'm ready for a change. But we have to go a weird route about it. So uh, let's get to it. All right, as, uh, as I said, I'm gonna have to do the, a little bit of a long version. This is only one layer of that deep red henna anyways. It's not built up too bad, so I'm hoping that this method will work. I Googled it online. There's plenty of like websites that tell you, you know, just to use oils. I've used Color Oops in the past and it really hasn't pulled it. It pulled a little bit, but not all of it. And I don't really feel like bleaching because I'm definitely sure I'm gonna need like a couple of things of it and I'm not I'm not down for damaging my hair so they said to use just equal amounts of coconut oil <laughs> sorry it's a big jug that I've had olive oil and argan oil now I don't know about you but because of the fact that I don't even know if this process works, I don't feel like spending several dollars on a thing of argan oil that's actually smaller than this one. This is an argan oil, but. So I actually just got hair masks that have argan, sorry, that have argan oil in it. And I figure half of one would make it, you know, it would be fine, because I'm probably gonna have to do this process a few times. But, that being said, if it doesn't pull as much, maybe that was the problem. This is probably going to be a multiple part series just because I don't want this running super long. But I showed you this. This has Moringa and sweet orange oils in it. It's supposed to help keep your color in, but because of this being a natural color, a lot of, it seems like the oils is what's, is what's been pulling everyone else's henna out. I've had this for three months and I have regrowth so bad that that is just gray when I'm out at Walmart. The fluorescent lighting just makes it gray. I'm like, I'm good. I have my ring light on, but it, it's hard to see when it's really dirty like this, but I'm gonna get a good shot of actually what it looks like now. You know how the inside and outside look. It's very dirty, I understand that. <laughs> that is why my first step is to, um, is to wash it with clarifying shampoo, which I'm gonna wash it twice and not put any conditioner on. Because what you want to do is use the, um, any clarifying shampoo. I got this at Dollar Tree, why would you not, you know? But what you're trying to do is strip any oils that are excess oils or products or anything. And so that when you go to put the mixture on your head that it will seep into your hair follicles a little bit more than if you had put a conditioner on it. So I'm assuming that after I dry my hair, it's going to be a little rough. But I have my kitchen scale, I have my little hair coloring, little bowl. You'll literally get these at Sally's for really cheap as well. The coconut oil I got at Big Lots for... $12. They have smaller ones. You don't need to get a giant thing. Unless you have a lot of hair, then you might. I got this at Walmart for $2 maybe. These are at Walmart and I don't know how much they are. I got it for $4 so it's probably close to that. And these were like $1.50. And I have three. Because like I said, I figure I'm going to have to do this process multiple times. I was told that even using the other processes, they have to do it multiple times, but again, I don't know. But this is just what's left of the Henna Guys Deep Red, and I'm gonna be honest, every time I wash it, orange, orange is just bleeding all over. I'm trying to find on my little, 
little chamois guy that actually there is like orange on it. Oh, there we go. That's not foundation. That is from my hair, like this little section right here. It's seriously from my hair. <laughs> I don't mind staining it because it's the only thing I use it for is put my hair in. But <laughs> I'm gonna go off camera, wash my hair, and I'll be right back with you when it's dry. Okay, quick update. I have now washed my hair twice with clarifying shampoo. Also got the clarifying shampoo in my eye, so I clarified my eyeball. <laughs> Not on purpose. I forgot how soapy it gets, and then it just went, hi, how are you? No, I can't see very well. I can see. Just burns a little bit. <laughs> so I am actually gonna go take my mom's dog for a walk, because I did mention it earlier, and the dog will get very angry if I don't. I will be shunned. <laughs> So I'm gonna go do that while this dries and I will come back and show you the application process. bad but there's still like just the regrowth and apparently some flakes use clarifying shampoo don't know where that came from i have put in like half of the um of the mask maybe probably a little bit more than half like there's still like that much there was a lot of air in it too so i mean i don't know i'm gonna show you the uh the bowl of fun in front of me. Okay, this is it before I've mixed it. As you can see, the last thing was 11. So I'm gonna zero that out, I hope. There. All right, I'm gonna mix this up off of the stand. Don't mind this mess over here. And then I'm gonna see what it looks like. So we're gonna go with um, the uh, cream of the mask was a bad idea. I think that if maybe I, you know, use my hands and kind of mush it around in there it might be okay let me make that mistake not you guys don't use the hair mask I'm just gonna finish I'm gonna use the rest of it and mush it together with my hands I guess they don't have a much more of a choice so yes using cream with the oils was a bad idea my bad oopsie so let's Stab this around, try to get it to, it's, it's not, it's not having it, so. At this scale actually at like BJ's, which is like a Sam's Club, but Walmart has them for like 15 bucks. I got it for 13, so. It's kind of free to buy it at Walmart, and at BJ's you have to have a membership, so. Walmart has them and they're really the same. I'll be right back. Okay. Um. I'm going to put gloves on because that was recommended to apply the oil mixture. I am literally going to time lapse me trying to put this on my head because I'm assuming it's going to be a mess. That's why I have this really weird plasticky cape thing my mom gave me. Thank you, mom. Even though it's not going to save my shoulders, it might save me a little bit. So I wasn't going to be getting a bunch of oil all over everything. I'm still hoping not to. But, not guaranteeing nothing. So let's see if I mix it with my hands, if I can get it to kind of mush together. It kind of does, maybe. I think using my hands to put it on, like I'm just gonna put some in for right now, considering it's all over my hands. Oh, that smells so good. I guarantee you it's that sweet orange and moringa oil thing from Garnier. I used to use it when I had my hair colored with normal like ways of coloring. But um, 
It smells so good. I am going to probably section my hair around just so, just so I get it all kind of soaked considering it's just a lot. I have short hair, but it's a lot of short hair. So I'm at the bottom kind of out and the bangs are just gonna be a pain. That's kind of the last part I wanna do because I don't wanna have it in my face the whole time. I'll let you know if I even run out of the mixture. It looks like because it's so thin, it'll be okay. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Um, <laughs> it was a lot. I had to kind of mush the mask into my hair, and of course, it made a mess. And I got like almost done, pretty much almost done. And of course, why not run out? You know, I'm gonna. <laughs> go and grab the other oil in a minute because the big one would not open worth of anything so go get that and mix some more and literally just pour it onto my head i'm not joking just boop pour it right on my head okay got my shower cap so let's toss this excuse me just get your behind in there all of you oh my god my hair is short and it doesn't want to go in. Okay, get. Excuse me for just one moment. Sure, that's what we're gonna go with. You're gonna throw a tantrum, it's fine. This is also the flimsiest of flimsy of freaking shower caps. I'm gonna find a better shower cap in a minute, but while I go do that, um. You're supposed to leave this in for a couple hours. I'm gonna leave it in overnight. I'm gonna get a better shower cap because this is ridiculous and I don't even know where this one's from. Same that it's in here? Probably. I'm just, that'll double cap, it'll be fine. I think I have thicker ones in there, but we'll go and double it up because hair is falling out. If you've applied the henna, you know how messy that can get. This is about just as messy, taking it out. They did warn me, they're like, I have an old wrap that I killed by doing the henna. As you can see there's stains all the way on the inside of this. We're gonna seal ourselves in. We're gonna make our eyebrows look real freaking great. Oh my God, where's the button? Oh, the button's all the way over here. Why? I had longer hair and this was okay. This one I got from Five Below. Oh my god, my eyebrows. Okay, let's get your eyebrows out of that. Thank you. This one I got from Five Below. The pink one that you saw that had the stains on it was this one. See in the mirror. <laughs> that pinkish purple one. I got that from a dollar market. I will see you guys in the morning. It's the next day. I just took the fabric one off. Like I said, it'll, and there's a little bit that kind of dried. There's still oil on it, so it's mostly the roots. So I am gonna go rinse my hair for a very long time. Like, I'm going to use the clarifying shampoo as well as rinsing and just go at it. So it'll take me a bit, so I will come back to you after my hair has actually been rinsed and washed and everything. They say you can put conditioner on after, but I'm like, I just had all this oil on my hair for all that time. Are we sure it's gonna not condition? I'll see how it looks in the shower, and then um, I'll decide in there whether I do put conditioner or not on it. If I do, it'll be this one, which has aloe and Australian sea kelp in it. Yeah, sounds good. So if I feel like when I'm rinsing, if I feel like my ends get are getting like super dry, then yeah, I'll toss this on. So I'll be back with clean, wet hair, and we'll look at it. It'll probably just be dark. If it's just dark, I will come back when it's dry. That yeah, makes more sense. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and we're washed. Ah, uh, this was dry still, and it's. You're putting it on clean hair. This isn't dirty. Don't understand why people are like, don't put it, it's dirty. 
I used clarifying shampoo last time I used this anyway, so just water. But I'm gonna let this kind of soak up a little bit. It took like a half hour. If you don't use conditioner afterwards, your hair is gonna be like probably pretty bad depending on how you put the henna on. I don't remember. <laughs> this is so bad. I don't remember what I had in my hair or if I had taken it out or anything before I did the henna. I have to actually go look back at my video to be sure. There's a chance that uh, <laughs> my hair was just fried even before the henna and I was like, oh, the henna's gonna help and it kind of did. But <laughs> I would film in the bathroom but it's a little warm in there from me rinsing my hair all that time. So I will come back to you later when it's like dry because with it being wet, it's still like, I mean, there's gonna be some red, I already know this. Cause there's also a chance that it pulled like a lot and then still I have a red undertone from something from a previous issue of removing color. So we're gonna see. So I'll be back later. All right, um, I did see a lot of color rinse out. Like I saw, actually saw pigment coming through the water when I was rinsing, I saw it. But, um, I mean, there is weird lighting going on. I don't know why I have a weird shadow casted on. Cause you can see this looks dark and then as soon as I move, it's not really that dark anymore. It is and it isn't. Like I'm very confused as to what my hair is doing right now. It's probably from pulling some of the pigments out and then there's some still left in there. So it's kind of splotchy. And you can see my ring light. I wonder if I turn that off. Oh. Compared to having the ring light on. Okay, you see, there is like a band and I can see it a little bit more now, like through here. And that was from a previous coloring. So without the ring light, this is what it looks like. Okay, I should have done that before. There's still like my roots and you can still see that there's actually like, you know, color there. But I'll put the ring light back on. So I'm pretty sure even with the ring light on, you can see that there's a little bit of a difference. It's not that color in person, to be perfectly honest. It's actually just really dark. <laughs> if I look in the mirror over there, it's really dark. So that was the light from earlier. See, the light causes that weird dark cast. I don't know what's going on. But I re-looked at that other video. And prior to that video, I had done L'Oreal High Color Highlights in True Violet and I used Old Developer like an idiot and then I just ended up with a weird band which I'm sure is somewhere in here that might be what this is, I'm not quite sure. <sighs> because the only thing that lightened was my roots at the time and it hasn't been that long. It grew out a little bit but not a lot. So I'm gonna keep doing the oil process and actually I'm gonna use this. Uh, smaller of the big one because when it's melted it's actually like creamy and I not in a bad way because it's oil but because I had to make more anyways I know now that I'll use more and because this was a flop in the mixture because it's you know it's a mask it's not meant to be like with oils it has oils in it but I don't think you're supposed to mix it like that it started clumping up <laughs> wasn't a good Oh, this has wheat, wheat amino acids. That's probably why it started clumping out. Fair enough. I'm gonna do this mask on Monday to kind of see if that pulls. Do I do this one if my hair is wet? Give me directions. I can read that in Spanish, but that doesn't help me. I'll apply evenly on wet hair and massage through the ends. I'll wash my hair with clarifying shampoo and then I'll put this on and I might just leave it on overnight and see if that pulls any color. But like I said, it's gonna be a process. It did take some out. I can kind of, I can tell in person that there's not a lot of red left. It's mostly brown. Don't know why it's coming up pink over here or, per, or 
because in the mirror over here it just looks dark and it's brown and it's not really that red so I don't know what's happening with my camera but it's literally yeah see if I step away from you guys you can see what the actual there we go there's like a little bit of red up here I think that's from being stuck in that lightened relightened band but the rest of it's pretty well brown which I'm okay with prior to now in the other video that I'm gonna like insert a little clip here even here this distance and I'm trying to edit it and hopefully it looks way different so next week Thursday I will do this again Monday I'll do the mask Thursday I will do this and if by Thursday's rinse out nothing else comes out and it's not like I can see it's brown we all can't see it's brown but if no more color comes out I mean after the mask if no color comes out that's fine but after another oil treatment I will uh I'll let you guys know on Friday whether or not it even pulled a second time <laughs> and I guess I will go from there and see what shade it actually is and then see if I want to do the color I was gonna do anyways which I revealed to some people you guys won't know until I go do it <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and if that square is still red you know you can just poke it to subscribe and I'm sporadic on videos right now it's been a long long last few months and this year didn't start out so great for me and I'm not ready to talk about that yet some of you know what I'm talking about and you know why I'm just like mm. so when they, that time comes I will discuss that but for now subscribe and you know follow me along on Instagram for the channel and for my personal Instagram and uh I will see you guys next week, maybe Monday while my hair is kind of situated. Maybe I'll do my makeup or something. I need to do my nails. I may do my nails Monday if they're feeling okay, they look okay and they don't hurt. They did hurt at one point. So. Maybe we'll have a manicure Monday. <laughs> it was kind of a success actually, to be honest. It wasn't really a fail. Uh, again, it's not this color in real life. I don't know why my camera's picking it up like that it's not even like this but about as close as I'm gonna get because yeah I can see the band where the henna is sticking because it was pre-lightened and then the little bit of red that is left from when I accidentally uh, bleached it didn't mean to so thank you guys so much for watching and being here and just kicking it with me